it going everybody? I'm Representative Torn Ecker here at the Huntsdale Fish Hatchery. Tomorrow is the first day of trout season and you know what better way to, to kind of talk about the trout season than come to the hatchery itself and I have today with me the uh, hatchery manager Andrew uh, with me today. Thanks for joining me. How many fish are going out of here today? Today we're putting out about 16 to 17,000 fish. Uh, most of them are going to go right here to the yellow breaches. Uh, the upper section and the lower section. The locals will know what I'm talking about. Yeah. And then some are going out to the Wissahickon out in Philadelphia. Okay. So what regions does this, this hatchery cover? Or what, what, what parts of the state? This hatchery mainly does from Adams County to Philadelphia, uh, basically the southeast corner of counties that have the earlier uh, beginning or uh, opening day. Yeah, so it's, that's a lot of coverage area, really. Yes, and we start in February and we're ending today and we got all the fish out to all our uh, uh, stream assignments so all the fishermen should have something to go for really cool. opening day tomorrow so what kind of what kind of trout do we got here today uh we do trout here uh rainbow trout brown trout and brook trout okay and what's like the average size you'd say of a fish that goes out goes out of here the average size that goes out what we call a production fish is 11 to 12 inches. Okay, but you got some big ones too. Uh, we were loading them on the truck there. Some the big larger fish we call uh, brood or trophy fish. Okay. They're anywhere between 14 to uh, 19 or 20 inches. Yeah, I saw some big ones in there for sure. So, uh, you know, how long have you been doing this? Uh, I've been doing this for about 10 or 11 years. Uh, I started as a seasonal here. I worked my way up through and became the manager. And um, Excellent. Yeah. So, you know, what's one of the best parts about your job? Uh, the best part about this job is seeing the entire process, uh, being able to take eggs here, raise them, keep them healthy, keep them fed well so they grow to a good size that the angler is going to enjoy. And actually, today we get to see all these anglers gathered around here right. and then see them put the product that we make into the creek for them to catch. Sure. So kind of explain to me the process. We see all these raceways here. You know, what's from start to, to finish, how's that work? What we'll do here is we'll take eggs, um, we'll, we'll raise them up uh, as quickly as we can to get them to size. And once they're 11 to 12 inches, we'll load them up one of the trucks and we'll put them out into the stream. Very cool, very cool. So how long is that process roughly? That takes about 18 months. Wow. We'll, we'll spawn the rainbows in July and we'll spawn our brown trout in October. Okay, so this place is always busy. It doesn't matter if it's spring or fall or summer or winter. Absolutely, there's, there's always something going on. It's like a, just a revolving door. Yeah, yeah, well, it's an exciting time. I know, you know, there's a lot of kids out stocking, a lot of kids here today. It's, uh, you know, it's a good way to get them energized for fishing too. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, so, uh, you know, I, I really appreciate you taking the time to show us around, let us load up the trucks. I think we're gonna stock later today, but, uh, uh, you know, thanks for thanks for your time and, and thanks for what you do here. Thanks for coming. The fish don't be in the bucket for two minutes because they need air. So take a deep breath. When you need air, the fish need air and get them in the water. So we're here today stocking trout uh, with uh, the PA Fish and Boat Commission. I have here with uh, with me Mike Narosi. Uh, you know, I, I, thanks for taking the time to come out and hang out with us and, and let us take in the experience today. So uh, one of the one of the privileges I get is being sitting on uh, Fish and Game as uh, my as a as a new member. It's it's a really cool committee for me because it's really important to our community. So. What are some of the things that the Fish and Boat Commission are doing uh, you know, as it pertains to trout, trout fishing and, 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 and getting people encouraged to do that? Sure, so right now uh, we're gearing up for tomorrow's southeastern opener. As you can see here, we got folks that are uh, camped out, ready to go for tomorrow morning. Um, all the, um, all the money that anglers spend on, on licenses, on boat registrations, we're a user pay, user benefits um, system. So it all goes right back here to stocking trout on places like the Yellow Breaches uh, here in Cumberland County. Yeah, so, so how do people get a license? Well, I mean, you have several options. You can come to one of our uh, regional offices. You can go to a local uh, vendor, a lot of times Bass Pro Shops, Walmart. 
field and stream. Uh, they they typically uh, you know they are licensed vendors for us, um, and you can also buy one online yeah. at our online uh, outdoor shop. Yeah, and so what what's what kind of licenses are available for folks to, to go purchase? Sure. So we have our resident annual license. Uh, we have uh, tourist licenses. Um, really, there's a, you know, you can get your, obviously for tomorrow, your trout stamp. Uh, there's a Lake Erie stamp. If you're fishing up in Lake Erie, it's tributaries. So if you go to one of the vendors or you go on our website, you can find a whole suite of options that sort of fit what you're fishing for. Great. So th I know the, 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 the PA Fish and Boat Commission has a, it's kind of a separate entity and it's self-funded. So what are those, what are those fishing licenses go towards? Um, so when folks buy a fishing license, they it goes right back here. Uh, you saw our stocking trucks come through here. Uh, it goes back to raising fish, to stocking fish. It goes to putting on uh, angler and boater programs for families, for kids. Um, so we're really, you know, a self uh, revenue generating agency. And we're just here trying to get people outdoors and get them fishing. Yeah, so I know you guys do a lot of outreach with kids and one of them being the trout in the classroom. Can you talk a little bit about that? Sure, trout in the classroom, we provide eggs and, uh, and give them to local schools. They raise those fish until they're uh, fingerlings and able to be stocked. And then throughout that entire process, they're working through their biology teachers, uh, sort of learning about the biology of you know, fisheries, science, raising fish. And then when the fish are ready, they take them here and they drop them off in the stream. Pretty cool experience, yeah. yeah. Well, hey, thanks for taking the time hey, to, thanks, to, to, to meet with me and talk to yeah. me and uh, look forward to continuing to work with the, the PA Fish and Boat Commission. Absolutely. Thanks. Thank you. Take care.